the standard new interlacing camera will work with black light and platinum. As Grant was saying, if you have hyper lines at high speed interlacing, especially uh, both directions of black and white and gray, then it creates hyper colors on the frequency to your yeah, eyes. Yeah, chromatic aberrances yeah. that can be controlled completely. So uh, that's an amazing that that's an amazing effect. It makes the colors seem like they're like garishly like taking over your eyes. And uh, you know how all of the screens have always said how many milliseconds of gray to gray? That's for a style of the screen being used for computing for old government software. And so this new standard I'm recommending, it will completely control radiation and, and, and pipeline it out of, deal, of messing with software. Yeah, because it's frequency intensive, which always keeps out yeah. uh, ab, ab, any, even gamma frequencies from solar flares, anything yeah. more efficiently and effectively. Exactly. And it also helps with how screens have to get more and more tied to any computing doing off-site from the screen on chips in a computer or a game console or a projector or projector, whatever, anything. Yeah, what I was really talking about and why it was so efficient what got us onto this was just that you're basically artificially generating a silver screen effect with more color than the number crunching ones and zeros better, like because you're you're freeing up the render space to do it in a way that makes sense, working with the CPU for once with NVIDIA even, yeah. so that that way, because of all the gray dots I've already said with gradients, and it's just dots that all each are different separate colors, so they're already there represented, then they only change like perceptionally you know what i mean with the, the lidar even or or not if it's yeah. amd so that you're getting real-time lighting but in a simplified way like it's you know just because they're so small the yeah. dots you know and they change dynamically like you know to different well yeah modes you, as you turn if you flick the dots on and off then what it creates quickly enough then you can build in the 3d right into the um the compression algorithm of whatever Kodak the camera or screen is using. You yeah, know? exactly. It just, yeah.